hello welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to make your own uh, laptop sleeve it could also be an ipad sleeve by the way i hope you will like this video and find it useful so first i'm going to start by giving you a list of the tools i need to make my laptop sleeve so i need drafting paper pins a pair of scissors 25 inches of duffel 25 inches of lining 25 inches of fabric a french curve a ruler or a set square or a triangle i don't know how you call that measuring tape chalk a basting thread and a needle a felt pen and an 18 inch inseparable zipper so let's start with step one drafting the pattern To draft the pattern, I uh, place the laptop on the drafting paper. I draw its outline freehand. I then use my set square to uh, connect the lines. Now I add seam allowance about 5 eighths of an inch. To do so, I place dots on the paper 5 eighths of an inch away from the, the outline of my laptop. Then I connect um, the dots by um, using my set square and by drawing lines. Finally, I draw curves at the angles with my French curve. Um, next, I measure the length of my zipper from top stop to bottom stop, about 16.5 inches. I will then uh, measure the length of my laptop, 12.2 inches. There is a 4.3 inch gap. Um, I need to distribute those 4 point inches uh, evenly, so roughly 2 inches on one side and 2 inches on the other side, so that my zipper is perfectly centered. Um, I place dots on the paper 2 inches after the edge of my outline, um, both on the left and on the right. I then adjust my zipper to make sure the top and bottom stops hit those marks. I fold my zipper at the edge. Um, and place a mark at the end of the bottom stop and on the right and at the end of the top stop on the left. Now I proceed to measure the rest of the outline, uh, 27.5 inches. This will be the length of the strip I will attach to my zipper. So I'm going to make a strip that is going to be attached to my zipper. So its length is 27.5 inches and its width is exactly the same as the zipper's width, which is um, 1.2 inches. So I'm crafting my, um, my strip. I'm cutting it out. as well as the pattern of my sleeve. Step number two, cutting. I place the pattern uh, on my pieces of fabric after folding them in two so that I won't have to cut a zillion times which can be a pain in the neck. Here I'm working on the duffel. Here is how I proceed. I pin the pattern to the fabric to keep it in place and then I cut. Thank you. 
I repeat the exact same steps with both the fabric and the lining. Um, I should have pressed the lining by the way um, and I strongly advise you to do so. Skipping this step can make cutting trickier and messier. You want to work on smooth and laid out fabrics, so make sure you press them. Step number three, at last, sewing. Um, I placed the different fabrics one on top of the other, starting with the fabric, then the duffel and the lining. I do so with the bottom part of my sleeve. Then I pin them together. And I baste to make sure that everything stays in place when I saw with the machine and also so that I don't break my needle with the pins. Um, I repeat the same process with the strip. So I pin it. Well, um, I made a mistake though. I didn't add my seam allowance when I was crafting my strip. Remember that we need a seam allowance. So um, I'm going to do so after pinning. By placing dots five eighths of an inch away from the edge of the pattern with a piece of chalk. I can then cut. Now I saw making sure um, not to um, actually lift the needle um, when reaching a corner. When I am about to reach a corner, I rather lift the presser foot, slide the piece on the left and keep sewing after lowering the presser foot again. Uh, um, so now I, I do the same with, uh, with the strip. By not um, lifting your um, needle, you make sure that the stitches are stronger and won't unravel uh, easily. So here um, I am attaching my strip uh, to the zipper, right sides together. Basically the zipper slides uh, should face the colored fabric. So I pin them together 5 uh, eighths of an inch before the end of the strip and right before uh, the, the zipper stops. I can now proceed to saw. When sawing on a zipper, I suggest you use the balance wheel um, of your sawing machine to avoid breaking your needle by hitting the teeth, for example. You can also slow down the, the speed of your foot pedal, your foot pedal, sorry, by halting it after each stitch, as you will do with uh, your balance wheel. Actually, so you go step by step. Also, before uh, sewing the two pieces together, make sure uh, they are the right length. Uh, so, sixteen point five plus twenty-seven point five. You do the math. 44 inches, right? Yeah, I think that's it. So now um, I attach the zipper and the strip to the top part of the sleeve. First, I place the zipper and the strip as previously mentioned. There should be a two, two inches between the top edge of the laptop and the zipper stops. And uh, by the way, I pin them right sides together as usual and uh, I turn at the corners.
right sides together. I turn at the corners. You can see some excess. I'm going to cut it off at some point. Now I baste and I can saw. Before sewing, I make sure that the stitches are open so that everything is laid out. And also, when I am about to sew on a bulky part, I use the balance wheel or I slow down the speed of the foot pedal, as I told you before. I now place the bottom part of my sleeve uh, on the zipper and strip right sides together and proceed to pin them together once again. I baste and sew. Take your time and lift your piece now and then to make sure your needle doesn't hit the zipper teeth or the slide. We don't want to break our needles, right? So lift the piece as often as possible. Finally, step numero 4. Finishing touches. To make sure my stitches are neat and won't unravel, I over sew them using a zigzag stitch. The needle, needle should go um, in the fabric and outside, in the fabric, outside, over and over again. Here is a raw edge, not neat, not cute, meh. And here is an oversawn edge, neater, well, sort of. Voila, my sleeve is finished and so is this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. You can also follow us on social media. We are on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We also have a few posts written in English on our blog. You can see the description box below for more information. Thanks again for watching. Bye.